Dreams, welcome back to my channel and to another review. Today I will be talking about The ABC Murders by Agatha Christie and I know I recently done another Agatha Christie review, Death on the Nile, and actually I wasn't really planning on reviewing The ABC Murders, I actually just read it for fun. Yeah, I do that sometimes. But as I was reading it, I got this overwhelming urge to share my thoughts about it with you guys because this book is so different to her other books. Now, if you don't know who Agatha Christie is, then first off, you are not watching enough of my videos. I tend to talk about her a lot. She's one of my favorite authors ever. She wrote detective books, and usually as a detective, detective uh, character, the protagonist will be in her books either the Belgium detective Hercule Poirot or the English Mrs. Marple. Now, if you have been watching my videos and you notice that when I talk about Agatha Christie, I almost always only talk about Poirot Poirot books, it's because he is my favorite protagonist of her and I actually have a collection of Poirot books and I tend to only read his books. And also I can't stand Mrs. Marple. The only version of her that I like is Jessica Fletcher from Murder, she wrote, but that's a different kind of adaptation. Now back to the ABC murders. Again, this is a Hercule Poirot book and it is narrated by Hastings, who is a good friend of Poirot and is kind of like his Dr. Watson. And it starts with the Belgium detective receiving an anonymous letter whose writer, who only refers himself as ABC, claims that he will manage to outsmart both Poirot and the police by committing a murder they won't be able to solve. And he does. Quite a few of them, actually. The first victim's name begins with an A and she lives in a place, starts with an A. The second victim's name begins with a B and lives in a place uh, starting with a B, C, etc. And for the first time, Poirot seemed to be at a loss. As I mentioned, the reason that I decided to actually review this book was because it was so different to her other novels. Agatha Christie wrote more than 70 novels in her lifetime. And as an avid fan, I can tell you that after a while, they all start looking a little bit similar. If you have seen my review on Death on the Nile that I did not too long ago, I said there that it kind of felt like a mini version of Murder on the Orient Express, another very famous novel of hers. But what makes this novel different are actually two things. The first is the fact that for the first time, this seems to be a huge challenge to Poirot. He's very smart, he's very observant, he doesn't only look at the physical clues, but also at the psychology of the crime and who could have done this. The problem here is that unlike the more uh, usual crimes where you usually look at who could have benefited from the death of the victim, here the murders seem pretty random. You have really nothing to go on, no clues to follow, which was really interesting to read. The second is the fact that we are dealing with a serial killer, something that, as far as I know, Agatha Christie never wrote about. The book was written in the 1930s, and despite there being serial killers then and before that, they weren't really popular in detective books, not to mention that the term serial killer wasn't coined back then, so don't expect to read it in the novel. I'm just saying it because it is what it is, and you would know what it is. Usually in detective books, the motive is personal, jealousy, greed, the need to hide a secret at any cost, etc. But how do you look for a motive when it seems that the only reason for the murders is that their name begins with the right letter? Now, if you mostly read modern thrillers, this probably isn't a big deal for you, but at the time, it was. I also think that Agatha Christie was, in a way, ahead of her time, trying to think of the psychology of the crime and what sort of a mental trauma will cause a person to commit commit these crimes, while the public and the police mostly just label these people as maniacs or crazy and just deem they're all dangerous and needed to be locked away, not getting treatment or even understanding that some of them can be harmless. That being said, there were some stereotypes and generalizations in this novel, but I can't really blame Agatha Christie for it because this book, again, was written almost an entire century ago. And the research and the knowledge about mental illness and psychology was not the same like it is today. I mean, up until recently, 
most people who didn't fit the society would just find themselves locked away somewhere because it's easier to deal with them like that or more likely not to deal with them. And even today, most media representation of schizophrenia, for example, present them as this dangerous criminals who can tell the difference between the reality and hallucinations. But going back to the main point, the ABC murders were a breath of fresh air. It was a very interesting twist on the usual Agatha Christie formula, but still had all the things I do love about her books, like great characters, interesting plot, and a great mystery. And as always with her novels, the ending managed to surprise me. You will think while reading this novel that you know what happened, you know the solution to the mystery, but eventually Poirot managed to bring to light some elements that no one could have predicted. So if you're looking for a good old classic detective book, if you've heard of Agatha Christie and you want to start reading her but you have no idea where to start because, you know, 70 novels, or like me, you read so many novels by her, they all start looking alike, but you still want to read some more Agatha Christie, try The ABC Murders. But only the novel, as far as I know, don't watch that BBC recent uh, version of it with uh, John Malkovich as Poirot. I didn't watch it myself, but I heard they completely changed the plot and they made it so unnecessarily dark and violent. So I don't know, I just decided that I'm not gonna watch it. Uh, I'm pretty sure that there are better, better adaptations uh, out there. So guys, that was my review on The ABC Murders by Agatha Christie. Thank you very much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to click like, to show your support, to subscribe to my channel if you dare, and to comment down below on what is your favorite detective novel with a twist, or alternatively, what is your favorite Agatha Christie novel if you are a fan? Your comments and your subscription really help my channel grow, so I do thank you for every subscription and for every comment, you know, as long as it's relevant. Anyway, guys, again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.